What would be your personal peg for a Miss Philippines in the next Miss Universe? Okay. Now that I'm already Miss Universe, she has to be prepared in a lot of aspects. Not just with how she's going to maintain her beauty, no. She has to have genuine interest in what's going on in the country and in the world. Because as you've seen in the last Miss, in the last Miss Universe pageant, they ask, they ask questions now about your country. So you have to be aware of what's going on in the news. And this has to be genuine. And you have to have your stand and your opinion on it. You have to be well spoken. You have to be brave. So, and also, the thing is, it's a very, it, it's a job that, it really depends on the girl. Okay, I know that they, Miss Universe have, have they, they have winners from different countries every year. And each year, every girl is different. But the way, how I have been, I have been working very hard every day, even on my off days, making sure that I'm doing something for the organization or something for my fans, for my supporters, bit by bit every day. So it has to be something that she really wants. It's not just a one-day thing. Not just a one-day thing Now, okay, I'm going to win the crown on Sunday. But are you ready for Monday? And what about Tuesday? And what about the next three months? And then the preparation after that. What about that one month before your flight? Are you prepared? Physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Holistically, are you prepared to go in that room and wear the sash that says Philippines and wear it proud? That's the thing for me is because when people watch this pageant, they see the beautiful production, girls in swimsuits, evening gowns, with Q&A. And then at the end, they all get these beautiful shining crowns on top of their heads. But what happens after that? That's what the, the next winner, that's what I want her to think about. What do you plan to do after that crown is put on your head?